When we edit video in LumaFusion, we edit on what we call a multi-track timeline. This area of the interface is where you'll work to craft your story, ordering clips, adding and deleting assets such as media, titles and transitions, and adjusting these as desired to form your final video. The content we choose to use in our project sits on what we call a video track, which you can see here lies horizontally across the screen, enabling our content to play out from left to right. When we use just one track on the timeline, we can see only one piece of media will be in our video. However, when we start using multiple tracks in our editing, we're able to create projects full of rich sequences and compositions, playing out multiple pieces of media at the same time. This is called multi-track editing, as we're able to use layers of content on different tracks to craft our story. This grey layer is called our main track and is the first video track you'll see every time you start a new project. When we add a clip onto the main track, the second track on our timeline will then be available to use and so on. These blue tracks can hold video and audio and the green tracks below hold purely audio. When adding visual content to the timeline, you'll notice that clips layered above others will take visual priority over the tracks below. So the order in which you stack your clips on the timeline is important. For example, here we can see this clip on the second track is layered behind the text on the third track. If we want the media to sit on top of the title, we'd have to change its positioning on the timeline, moving it to the track above, like this. As you can see here, you can move clips between tracks as you need at any point of your edit. It's good practice to build your timeline from the main track up, as this track forms the crux of your video and has special control over the other tracks of the timeline. You'll notice as you add more layers, your clips will be linked with these little white lines. Clip linking is designed to keep your layered clips in sync with the clips on your main track as you make changes to the timeline. You'll notice as I'm trimming this clip here on the main track, LumaFusion has a magnetic timeline. The sequence of clips to the right of the clip I'm editing automatically moves left and right as I trim. This is to avoid creating any unsightly gaps within our project. This is the default behaviour of the timeline and is called insert mode, noted by this arrow pointing to the right in the track header. To turn the magnetic nature of the timeline off, tap this arrow icon and the arrow will point downwards and the main track will turn purple, highlighting that you're now in overwrite mode. In overwrite mode, any actions taken on the timeline in one location will not have an impact on the positioning of clips at another location on the timeline. In addition to the control of the timeline behaviour, the track header also encompasses a collection of tools that editors can use to apply certain behaviours to an entire track rather than just a single clip. Tap this icon to unlink or link all the clips on the aligning track to the main track. Tap the padlock icon to lock an entire track, preventing any actions being taken and avoiding the possibility of accidental modifications. Use this eye icon to toggle the visual playback for a track on or off to see or export your project without an entire layer of overlay clips. And finally, adjust the audio of a track by tapping the mute button to silence an entire track's clips. On the other hand, if you want to bring the audio levels up, or down for a single track on the timeline independently, open the audio mixer here and use the sliders in line with the clips you want to edit. Mastering the use and control of the tracks on your timeline here will empower you to not only create beautiful videos in the style you desire, but also employ a workflow that's easy to implement as you mold your story for a stress-free and fun editing experience.